Welcome to your financial update for the Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Today there's big news on unemployment, stocks on the stock market, the Dow, NASDAQ, oil prices, and so much more. Make sure you stick around till the end to hear about it all. So yesterday the Dow remained about even, and that's great and all, but today it's up. Right now, at this very moment, I think it's up just over 1%, and that's great news. Although, it's awkward because unemployment continues to rise. <laughs> that's a common theme. Graham Stephan has touched on it several times, and it's the weirdest thing. Every time that new numbers for unemployment come out, the Dow is up. So, it's a new trend. NASDAQ has reached its equivalent of where it started the year at which is great news actually. And this means that the stock market is recovering and doing well, although the S&P 500 is still down 10% on the year and the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down about 15, 16% on the year. This is strongly encouraged by large tech companies such as Facebook, Apple, Amazon. These companies have averaged about a 15% increase in their stock prices this year, and that's attributed to the help of the NASDAQ rising, as well as the Dow Jones and S&P 500. Oil prices after yesterday being down 2.5%, they're down again about 1% today. This is due to people becoming super bullish on oil, thinking that things were going to get better really quick, and realizing that oil storage is still increasing and becoming a hot commodity and that oil's not selling as fast as they thought. So these oil future prices for months to come have declined a little bit. Lastly, the unemployment has reached an all-time high of 33 million individuals who are unemployed. This is quite a staggering number, although the Secretary of the Department of Labor, Eugene Scalia, Scalia, I'm not sure how to say his last name, says there will be a, hopefully a quick bounce back once the stay-at-home orders are lifted and that people will quickly return back to work and that unemployment numbers should take a huge dive. There is a positive to the unemployment numbers released today, and that is that last week there were only about 3 million people who newly reported that they were unemployed. This is a decrease from previous weeks dating back all the way to mid-March. So for about a month and a half we've been increasing and finally we've had a decrease in number of new unemployment applications. So that's good news, that's good news. And we'll end it there with that okay news. And I will see you again tomorrow in another financial update. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and comb your hair because I didn't comb mine. Bye-bye.